welcome to my channel this is the truck driver guy and uh, this is uh, October 29th 2012 and uh, here you go I'm recording this video for you guys in Wyoming and uh, yeah guys welcome to Wyoming this is Wyoming for you uh, winter is starting slowly slowly and uh, I'm going up the hill everybody is everybody is uh, going up the hill right now it's kind of uh, it's as you guys can see here it's already freezing conditions it's 34 uh, uh, 34 degrees and uh, yeah guys winter is here uh, tracking you know as you guys can see here it's a very very uh, you know like high mountain and I'm going up the hill and basically um, yeah guys you know it's a winter winter and winter just a second guys have to change the line make sure nobody is there make sure everything is safe here okay yeah because you guys can see my engine have 450 horsepower but still I'm almost 80,000 pounds heavy so yeah guys this is it this is Wyoming and I'm almost uh, like I said I'm almost 80,000 pounds and uh, it's pretty difficult to go up the hill uh, with the weight like that but it's all good it's all good I got about uh, about 1400 no, 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 13 more hundred miles till I get to Chicago and uh, yeah I mean but what I like about America's agriculture is American America's America's open spaces yeah this is this is a good space for agriculture that's for sure I mean Wyoming it's pretty wide and there is a lot of space for um, agriculture in Wyoming it's a very strong winds here as you can see right there there is a uh, wind towers uh, you know to generate energy and uh, yeah guys what I like about Wyoming here is a fresh air number one uh, number two there is a uh, uh, good speed limit for semi trucks as you guys can see here I'm going 75 miles per hour and uh, this is not bad this is not bad and uh, you know but you know for the truck usually guys usually uh, when I drive a semi truck I go 70 72 maybe max because I mean 75 it's not uh, it's not very safe you know 72 it's okay but 75 there is a big difference between 75 and 72 yeah guys and uh, another thing about Wyoming it's a very long state uh, and uh, for a truck drivers it's a truck driver friendly state there is a lot of interesting things for the truck drivers a lot of truck stops you can even find a restaurant for the truck drivers here and you can find uh, like a jacuzzi sauna uh, it's uh, it's kind of nice out here uh, and once again guys it's it's nice for the truck drivers it's not really nice for I mean I think if you're just a regular person and you want to live in Wyoming out here then sure it's gonna be okay for you but I mean amazing view really amazing view really nice uh, weather and like right now as of today yeah it's a it's a freezing condition but it's a 
it's very important that there is no black ice on the road because where is black ice there is a lot of problems a lot of troubles you can't really go fast because uh, you can't really go fast because of the uh, because of the uh, road conditions but as of right now everything is okay everything is fine everything is under control and uh, and yeah guys it's not bad out here I mean me personally I wouldn't want to leave here in Wyoming because I, like I said I mean it's a cool weather I agree it's a cool weather it's fun in here I mean especially winter time I'm gonna show you guys a lot of videos in the winter time I mean in the real winter time in Wyoming when uh, it's gonna be uh, a lot of different situation accidents because it's gonna be I mean usually Wyoming have at least a thousand accidents uh, per year uh, I'm talking about semi truck accidents because uh, over here accidents going on every single day it's not like uh, once a year or a few times a year no guys here in this beautiful state accidents uh, happens every single day uh, and uh, there is a, there is gonna be this winter it's gonna be a lot of rollovers it's gonna be a lot of uh, dangerous situations and uh, a lot of uh, you know if you guys uh, especially I tell you what if you are a new driver or if you're a beginner driver it's still gonna be a danger right here in Wyoming because of the ice because of the snow because of the wind it doesn't really matter how many years of experience you got if it's gonna be black ice on the road and 70 plus uh, mile an hour wind it doesn't really matter what kind of experience you got under your belt uh, it's just gonna be you know uh, it's just gonna be a dangerous time out here and another thing guys you know what I do you know I pray a lot especially when I go on the trucks uh, wait stations I pray because even even if everything is okay you never know what's gonna happen you know because uh, you know nobody is perfect nobody is perfect and uh, there is a lot of things for example you can get a violation or you, you can get a ticket or anything you know to be honest with you guys I don't want any tickets on my record I don't want even a small tiny violation on my record I tell you why because it's go on your safety record and safety record it's not uh, it's not really it's not really good when you have points on your safety record uh, because a lot uh, I would say most of the companies most of the companies nowadays they check your safety record and uh, if they see that you having a lot of violations and you having a lot of problems with your uh, prior companies they uh, simply not gonna hire you and even if you have a clean record but bad safety record you will not get hired this is the thing guys that's why I'm telling you to uh, pray make sure you know you're doing everything okay everything is under control and uh, you know guys just just be careful out here because it's not easy out here and uh, it's any second any second it might be dangerous over here any second something might happen here like as you guys can see here winter is here winter is right here guys this is Wyoming it's already snowing here and uh, I think another month I mean to be honest with you tomorrow out here can be a disaster tomorrow out here can be uh, ice on the road as you guys can see right now there is no ice on the road you know the road is clean I mean it's okay that it's uh, snow you know from the sides but 
you know what's matter is the road for now road is clean as you guys can see road is clean it's no ice doesn't have a black ice on it doesn't have any ice on it and uh, I consider that kind of weather is a good weather even though it's snowing here but it's still a good weather and uh, yeah guys uh, another thing that I want to tell you about Wyoming is uh, uh, you know Wyoming I mean maybe it's obvious but I want to tell you this uh, during the during the winter when it's real winter uh, when you're gonna park your truck in Wyoming uh, what you're gonna need to do I'm gonna show you right now you're gonna need to uh, just uh, put it on the parking just uh, for a parking uh, break and the uh, trailer air supply you have to leave it inside of there I tell you why because uh, uh, if you're gonna take out the, uh, when you're gonna, for example, go to sleep and you're gonna take out the trailer, uh, trailer brakes, your brakes gonna freeze and then you're gonna get in trouble because you might damage your trailer and your company gonna charge you money for that. That's a lot of, you know, that's a lot of hassle, guys, that you don't really need. And, uh, yeah guys, Wyoming it's a, it's a nice beautiful place. Oh by the way guys, Wyoming it's a, uh, I think it's the highest point in United States. I think because it's about uh, 10,000 uh, uh, here is the highway patrol. There was a highway patrol driving. Yeah guys, be careful because here there is a lot of highway patrols out here. And there is a road constructions so you know be careful when it's a road construction you always have to slow down uh, for example speed limit is Wyoming 75 now uh, it's gonna be a 65 mile an hour speed limit and uh, as you guys can see I usually go even below 65 I usually go 60 to be even uh, more secured because as you guys can see here it's a road construction and usually there is a lot of road construction going on and uh, right here as you can see they put in a sign for us for the truck drivers to be careful and to drive safely out here and uh, it's very nice it's very nice I mean states uh, in United States uh, you know each state doing a great job each state uh, making sure that everything is under control everything is secure safe I like United States guys you know and uh, I also you know found a restaurant in Wyoming it's a very nice restaurant that I like a lot uh, maybe one some sometime actually record this video in my in my channel there is a video about my rest about one of the restaurants that I love I I named it uh, best restaurant in Wyoming and that restaurant is really nice guys there is uh, first of all it's very affordable uh, number one is very affordable and uh, number two it's very delicious food in there so guys yeah this is uh, this is how Wyoming is and uh, oh my goodness guys Wyoming during the winter time right now here it's it's not a winter time I, I, I would consider this weather as a summer time it's not winter time I will record the videos in the winter time in Wyoming when you guys gonna see see what's happening here in Wyoming in winter time you are gonna be shocked you would be so shocked that you'll be probably you know I'm not scared to driving Wyoming but I'm actually extremely careful out here I'm making sure that uh, uh, you know I drive uh, number one by the speed limit number two if it's windy I drive uh, 10 maybe 20 miles slower than a speed limit if I'm too light if I'm too light 
if my let's say if my weight is about 10 15 thousand pounds my uh, my load weight because I can get up to 46 probably maybe 48 ish but uh, if I if I be 15 thousand pounds and it would be a strong snow I wouldn't drive at all I would actually go to truck stop and I would park because it's a lot better you know it's a lot better to uh, park and to wait than make an accident and lose your job so yeah guys this is uh, this is uh, what kind of situation we have here in Wyoming and uh, uh, oh another thing in Wyoming right here it's a lot of people who haul uh, a lot of companies uh, they haul uh, like a gas and oil and stuff like that and uh, as you guys can see there is one of the trucks that he's hauling a uh, it's basically he's doing some kind of like chemicals uh, and uh, it's actually a double trailer if you never seen a double trailer here you go guys it's a double trailer out here and just uh, letting you know that it's a very very dangerous and very difficult to hold that because it's a double and uh, let's say especially in the winter time here in Wyoming uh, you need to be extremely careful with that uh, equipment. It's a very serious and very responsible job because uh, those equipment they have big fines. If something gonna happen, those drivers they would pay a lot of money. Those companies would pay a lot of money because that's that's a serious stuff. You know, when you haul hazmat, you have a lot of responsibility and you have a lot of different serious issues that you need to know and you need to be legal. Yeah, like as you guys can see here, this guy right now going about 70, probably because I'm going around 72 and he's going probably around 75-ish. And uh, I tell you what, it's not, uh, it's not, you know, easy for him because here, uh, right now, it's not as windy. But any second, guys, any second here in Wyoming can start uh, like a very strong wind, snow. I mean, ice. Any second, guys, because it's already 34. It's already freezing conditions in the state so guys yeah this is this is Wyoming this is Wyoming for you guys and uh, I mean also another thing about Wyoming I mean it's it's a beautiful state another thing guys about Wyoming in Wyoming there is a lot of uh, military a lot of uh, here in Wyoming I often see military and uh, I often see like tanks, uh, some kind of, as you guys can see there is a police officer stop it, stopping somebody already, as you can see there on the other side, see there is a police officer and uh, yeah guys it's interesting, it's interesting what's happening here in Wyoming, it's interesting what's happening, oh my goodness. Oh wow, you see flatbed, it's, it's a, wow, see, it's going from flatbed, I guess he hook, hook it up in the, now I have something, oh my goodness, yeah man, I'm gonna probably uh, tell him that he needs to connect better maybe, did he connect better? Let's see. I think he's doing a great job. Oh, it's just a plastic, but still, you know, it's it's not as uh, it's not uh, you know it's not very good. If if police officer would see that, that would be a, a ticket for littering, and it goes up to a thousand dollars. And as you guys can see right there, he put it on my truck, and now look. I got it too, man. Now I'm probably gonna have to stop. 
I'm probably gonna stop at Little, Little America. There is a beautiful place for the truck drivers, as I already told you guys before, that Wyoming is a cool place for the truck drivers. Oh, and another thing. Oh my goodness, look at my truck. He got it covered. Oh my goodness, this guy got it covered. But that's totally okay. That is totally okay. I'm gonna have to stop right now to get her off to get it off my truck because uh, he is I mean yeah it's happening it's happening guys you know you never know it's happening and nothing we can do about it nothing we can do about it guys it's a Swifty right here driving here yeah, those guys you know they they have gov uh, company governed uh, their trucks 60 or 62 mile an hour and it's kind of it's not really good but what can you do nothing you can do about it i guess and uh, yeah guys here's the beautiful mountains for you and uh, yeah i'm gonna i think i'm gonna stop in about 20 miles i will stop and i will actually uh, probably I'm not hungry, I don't think I would eat, but I would definitely, I would definitely uh, probably do some exercise, probably do like few push-ups, uh, few sit-ups, and uh, because it's very healthy when you do push-ups and sit-ups, because of the, uh, you know, the healthier you stay, on the freeway in this industry it's better for you you know the healthier you are the better you are i call it that way healthy better not healthy bad you know and that's the industry for the truck driving this is the truck driving industry guys and uh, another thing for the beginners when you are a beginner and uh, uh, you know uh, never uh, because in, in Wyoming it's a very uh, you know it's a lot of hills in this state and if you're gonna let yourself like uh, as you guys can see you know you have to kind of like look ahead you have to look ahead like what you're doing because you see this guy is going like fast but not really fast he's going actually slow and I'm going fast but behind me there is a people who's going even faster than I am you know as you guys can see those people those people go in even faster than I do so you know it's a, it's an interesting state and here you need to pay attention on a lot of things and uh, and uh, here little America 50 cents for the ice cream 15 miles away and like I said I'm stopping there just to uh, kind of get a taste of it just to uh, maybe walk around a little bit do a little exercise here and there and uh, continue driving yeah guys because it's important it's important guys how you drive I mean, it's not very good if you drive eight hours non-stop because all your body uh, goes to sleep and uh, it's not very good for your body, it's not very good for your brains, you know, you need to let your brains uh, breathe, you need to let your brains uh, kind of feel the uh, freedom, you need to let your brains uh, relax it's not very good if you always always drive you know there is a uh, ways how you can relax your brain and another thing if you guys uh, get in bored or anything you can always uh, I tell you what what can you do you can always call your friends call your family the thing about sprint because I have a sprint service my service is sprint and uh, I don't have a connection in Wyoming at all 
so you know if somebody even trying to reach me right here in Wyoming all I can say good luck because uh, it's not gonna happen because of the uh, I mean Sprint uh, has a great service but uh, it's not working here in Wyoming all state is uh, it's like 95% of the state is dead uh, so uh, they don't put a lot of towers here they don't put any towers up here in Wyoming I don't think they, they even have towers in Wyoming but Ryzen Wireless you know like Ryzen Wireless is the best service for the truck drivers because Ryzen Wireless works pretty much everywhere and as soon as they gonna uh, uh, can uh, finish my uh, contract with uh, Sprint I will switch to Verizon Wireless because Verizon Wireless is simply the best I mean guys Verizon Wireless is simply the best it's simply the I mean it's, it's a great service I can tell you that it's a great service and uh, I know it's, it's more expensive than, than Sprint but who cares you know, I don't wanna, you know, I'm tired, I'm sick and tired of waiting for Sprint to get better. You know, I've been with Sprint for almost five years and uh, they always been, you know, at the edge. You know, they always promise, oh, we're gonna improve, we're gonna improve. And, uh, you know, when I went to Chicago, I checked my uh, 4G LTE speed because it says uh, Chicago, uh, it says 4G LTE. Uh, I checked my 4G speed and there was 0 0.13 megabytes per second. I was shocked. I said, you know what? I'm sorry, but I cannot handle that anymore. I don't want that kind of service. I want my internet to be 20, 30 megabytes per second. I mean, come on, you know, this is, it's not, I mean, I cannot even use my phone to uh, for business. You know, my phone is just uh, just like a uh, I don't know. I don't even know what to tell you. It's it's uh, it's work in the big cities, but uh, you know, for for the line that I have, it's basically hundred thirty dollars per month. So, paying $120 per month for something that is only working in the big cities? No, thank you. And actually, uh, you know what Sprint say? That they have unlimited, unlimited talk and text? That's not true. Uh, because, um, I mean, obviously, you, you, all of you guys know that I'm a truck driver. And, uh, uh, you know... Uh, like already somebody called me from Sprint and they told me that I cannot tax a lot because uh, it's against company policy and there is something in the contract about it and uh, basically you know they tell me to tax less but I asked them aren't you guys uh, unlimited they said no we're not so if you're in the roaming area you can only have 700 minutes per month that's it uh, and uh, again guys that's uh, that's not really good it's not very i mean i don't think it's a good uh, i mean sprint is a good company if you if you live somewhere in the city for example bay area bay area have 4g lte and they have 10 megabytes per second upload so that's not bad that's not bad guys but uh, see the mountains beautiful huh it's beautiful mountains I'm telling you guys Wyoming it's a beautiful state I mean it's really it's it's really our beautiful state and I like it you know sometimes I like to drive here in Wyoming open my windows just a uh, breeze of fresh air I like this place I really love Wyoming you know uh, one time I was even considering to live here in Wyoming can you guys imagine that I mean I even had a plan 
to live in Wyoming. Wow, I love you guys. Subscribe to my channel, like my videos, thumbs up. Comment below and uh, I really wish you a safe day out there and uh, I really wish you the uh, best uh, I really wish you the the best uh, driving if you want to become a truck driver as well you can always uh, you know contact me I mean I have few ideas what I'm gonna do about truck driving and uh, you know guys what can I tell you drive safe I mean you know if it's oh guys another thing about speed limit if it's a uh, let's say a lot of people what they say oh if it's speed, speed limit is 65 I can go 70 uh, you know what guys you're wrong because as, as a commercial truck driver you uh, are professional as long as you get in your class A you becoming a professional so uh, when you are professional you need to make sure you are safe and uh, you are not hazard to anybody else who is around you as you guys can see here I'm driving myself right now and uh, I'm going to Little America I'm gonna get some strawberries because as you, can, as you guys can see there they have a strawberries yesterday I went to uh, yesterday I were in Utah and uh, I went to one really cool restaurant and uh, I actually got three strawberries in chocolate and I really like strawberries with chocolate it's actually kind of like make me make me happy make, make my mood to go up and uh, I like it guys you know to be honest with you I like it a lot and um, yeah guys see guys I mean I'm the guy who who would show you the United States of America it's a beautiful place to be you know a lot of people you know they, they say bad stuff on police officers here in America but I tell you you know I tell you guys about the police officers I respect police officers because police officers uh, even Bible says that police officers is from God you know God put them uh, to rule and uh, every single government is from God you know and uh, whether we like it or not we have to obey the law we have to uh, make sure we're uh, doing a great job we're uh, living a fair life and uh, you know a lot because you know guys a lot of times police officers stop me and they actually were letting me go you know they, they not they're not really bad as a lot of you think you know if you if you live somewhere in the other you know uh, place you know those guys are very good guys because without them uh, America would not be safe 